Hi guys, C Falcon here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, I cha was chained to the floor and somehow turned into a wolf. And, well, this is pointless. <laughs> okay, I don't think even a wolf's teeth can, or fangs can bite through a freaking chain. Well, actually, it probably could, but this is a video game, so it doesn't make sense for it to. Whoa, whoa, hello, stalker face. Whoa, <laughs> I found you. Yeah, like it's that hard to find, find you know, a wolf chained to the floor in a prison cell. I think that would be noteworthy for the people who run this prison to tell someone about. Because you don't see that every day. I mean, it's not like you go, there's no, I don't think there's any jails out there in real life, especially for wolves, but <laughs> either way, uh, this creature, or whoever she is, um, she, you could see a clip of her right before actually Link transformed into the wolf. And you, sh it, um, basically she saw what happened to you and, for some unknown reason, actually wants to save you. And she does so by using magic power and it breaks the chain. Nah, I'm not surprised. No, that's... I don't know, you wanna explain? I don't know either. <laughs> Maybe you'll tell me? Well, but what if I can't get out of here? Does that mean I win the game already? Sweet. That was short. I remember Twilight Princess being a lot longer. Yeah, okay, that was dickish. Anyway, the real way to get out of here is you just break this open and you dig underneath the, uh, s cell right here, and you're out. Um, a dig mechanic, it doesn't give you any, it doesn't actually really explain it immediately. You just have to figure that out yourself within, a, well, not in a decent amount of time, but you have to figure that out. And I wonder how long it took people to realize that you could just dig underneath there. It was kind of obvious to me immediately, but when I initially played the game, but, uh, I'm basically now becoming her, this, I don't even know if you want to call it a female, because, I mean, it's a Twilight, they're just people, kind of, I don't know. They're not normal, so I don't know, is it right to call them female? I, whatever. Let's not get in debate about, you know, gender and race, race, they're, we're, we're, we don't even know what's going on here. I mean, it's like, like, like this, I mean, I'm like this, why'd she have a giant hand coming out of her head? And how come? And how come the wolf grabbed, grabbed onto that chain with its fangs and not the <laughs> her hand? Why didn't she just pull it down? Oh, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> it's not for this video game. Video game Nintendo logic at its best there. Um. Yeah. Okay. What do I do? What do? I do? Come on. Okay. All right. So you turn on this thing called sense mode, which. Let you basically see, um, beast. Well, it let you see some beasts that you can't normally see, and you can also see, uh, you can see actual humans that are trapped in the twilight here. But they're trapped as spirits instead of turning into a wolf. Which, to be honest, it sounds like that'd be a better deal, except as a wolf, you can fight back. <laughs> The spirit guys, all they know is, they're, all they do is get scared of everything and just hide in corners. It's kind of pathetic, actually. And, actually, <laughs> just as I say it, here's where this person explains to you exactly what you need to do. Um, well, she doesn't really tell you exactly what you need to do. Oh, shit, I wasn't supposed to grab that one. Um, she doesn't tell you ex exactly what you need to do. She just tells you that in order to attack enemies, you kind of, you do what you do in human form. I'll target them and hit A. And the wolf, much like a, I guess a regular wolf would do, pounces on the enemy and bites it with its fangs. They kill it. It's actually kind of violent, but it's a cool concept. In some enemies, it can actually be easier to fight as it, as the wolf. At least for now. That, that won't hold true. Anyway, so in order to get out of this well area that we're in... You gotta pull this chain down to, um, raise the water, cause you can see there's spikes over there, and I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want a wolf walking across spikes, I mean, that would hurt. 
You need a lot of medical attention for those feet. Or does a wolf have feet or paws? I don't. I whatever. I have. <laughs> what am I thinking about? Why am I thinking about that? I'm playing Twilight Princess here. Matt, <laughs> that guy. That guy's not really hiding, though. Is he? He's just standing there, like, "Oh, we get out of here." I don't know, but why don't you try finding out instead of sitting there scared to death like a five-year-old? And and this guy, I mean, he's sobbing in the corner. I mean, those little black guys aren't monsters aren't a big deal. You saw easy. I killed that one, or I killed well, not that much. How easily I killed the ones earlier? For those of us who know what we're talking about, <laughs> wasn't that that wasn't a big problem? All right, so um, you have to you actually have to lower the water again in order to actually get out of this area. So you got to do that. And all right, let's tackle the enemy. Hey, Binda! Hey, what was that for? Yeah, but I was trying to fight an enemy and. I got hit because she freaking abandoned me. And the cutscene triggered. Thanks a lot. Appreciate the sentiments. Be sure to send you a gift basket as a reward later on. Oh. Stupid cutscenes. Anyway, I mean, speaking of back to a minute ago about the scared soldiers, what, what is this guy doing? I mean, what is he scared of? He's hiding in a. A little, like, hole. He's not gonna... Like a mouse hole or something. I mean, he doesn't... You don't really think a monster's gonna crawl in here, are they? Well, um... Well, I did, but... I'm not a mon I'm not a real monster like those little uh, black creatures. And who are you calling little? Yeah? I am. I know where I know where we are. Yeah, I want out of here. I want to know who you are. Okay, so we got to get out of here and yeah, that yeah, that's great. We got to perform a circus act and do tight tr do uh, juggling over a tightrope or something because the staircase is like dilapidated. Whoa! Well. That was helpful. Fall right off. Okay. Now, this is where you're going to learn about another important um, concept. No. No, you don't have to do everything for me, but I'm a wolf. I can't fly. So, basically, this is a concept you use as a wolf quite often, actually. What you do is when you get to a point where there's a giant chasm or something you can't cross... Basically, yell target minute and press A to jump to her. Now, when you jump, you do slide to a stop instead of... You don't instantly stop, so you actually can slide off the edge of a platform if you're jumping to her. Um, I, I know that a little too well, actually. I mean, and, there, and you want to do it immediately, because oftentimes they have you doing it while you're getting attacked by monsters that are placed where you land. So you want to quickly... You want to work quickly and get out of there. See, like there. If I if I wait too long, I'll slide off the edge. So, I want to make sure I don't we don't have to reclimb all that. Why do I have to go up to that door? Why can't this one open? Oh, you stupid bat! Um, those guys right there, by the way, they're uh, those are Twilight keys. They're the same as the um normal keys, except they're another Twilight form. <laughs> there's nothing actually different about them. And then there's the normal uh, keys. Of course, and then there's the little black monsters or little twilight monsters. They are not a big deal. They're basically they're basically a twilight version of rats, I guess, if you want to make any comparison. I was gonna say I was gonna say Deku Baba, but there actually are twilight Deku Babas later on, so you can't really make that comparison. And you can if you haven't figured out where we are right now. Yeah, need to pay more attention. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Since this chick or whatever she is continues to, 
you know, not she kind of beats around the bush. She she almost assumes you're she assumes you're really stupid at, at first. She keeps saying, "Oh, you know, let's uh, let's, you know, keep thinking that he doesn't know where we are." Well, you know, first of all, even if if you haven't played a Zelda game, you may not know the name of this castle, but other than that, it's kind of obvious that you're on top of a castle. At the very minimum, you would know that much. And speaking of which, there's a soldier that's just kind of standing out here. Monsters burnt. Okay, well, there you go. Finally tells you. Hyrule Castle is our location right now. Although, um, it certainly doesn't look anything like the Hyrule Castle we know and love at this point. Because it got taken over by the Twilight. Um... Which is unfortunate, because Link was supposed to be here today to deliver his, you know, present to the, um, to the royal family, that sword. But, obviously, that's not gonna happen. Anyway, uh, those are the mon that's the monstrous bird that, uh, the guy with the soldier was, uh, apparently noticing, you know, it's just sitting there. See, here's another one. This one's called, these are called Kargoroks, or, well, Twilight Kargoroks, or... Also, normal Kogroks look like normal birds, and I think the the Twilight ones are almost a bad pun because, of course, when you attack them, you know they make a they make a sound. It sounds like a car horn, hence the name Kargorok. I know it's I don't it's cheesy shit, but hence I always got a kick out of thinking that was what the point of the uh, name was. However, obviously it's not, and. Uh, because the, the real life, the, the, uh, not the, what are you saying real life? This is not, this is all fan, it's why, yeah, Zelda's real, this is all f real. No, in the light world version, the Kargoroks are just normal birds. That's why the pun doesn't work, because they also squawk at you instead of, you know, they don't sound like a car horn.